So in this part, I'm gonna show you how I kind of twisted up some of these parts together so that, you know, I still accompany myself singing with this, but you know, I kind of put a little bit of percussion, a little bit of the bass part in with the guitar part. So it kind of sounds like, you know, the full arrangement with just with just the one guitar. So very similar things to what we did to do. We're kind of doing this kind of like mini G shape down here. It's mini C, but we're gonna add a walk down right away. So from the C chord, we're gonna release the ring finger and have the middle finger go over here to do a little walk down. So we're gonna go C to, uh, I guess it's G with the B in the bass. And really only focusing on these three strings here, there. It's kind of an open A minor chord, so like a power chord. And then we're doing kind of this funny open D chord where it's like we got the open A here. So we're still gonna be playing with these three strings, but they're gonna kind of make everything work for us. So it's a very similar fingering to what we did in the last part, but very slightly changed. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is you know, get our palm mute ready and we're gonna do the same brush up like we did before. You know, same, simple. Or right after that, we're gonna do a thumb slap and we're gonna slap right in front of the D string because we're gonna go, we're gonna go. So instead of kind of plucking that low D, we're just gonna go slap, see, slap. Yeah, I'm fingering the third fret of the uh, A string and I do that playing against open D, so it's like slap. That's what we're sticking in there. Instead of a hitting that, I'm gonna thumb slap to give it a little bit of percussion. So the whole thing up to there sounds like. Simple enough. And one more time. Down, down, up, slap. Da, da, da. Yep, and right after that, I'm gonna go right into this walk down. I'm gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So it's, all, it's I just go. And the the first note of those groups is is the long one. So it's like da 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 Yeah, it's a very smooth way to do it. And again, this, again, that's what the bass is doing. Now, I'm not gonna follow the bass all the way down, but over the next beat, the guitar doesn't start with a D, so we're gonna try to, we're gonna kind of rearrange the notes. So we got a D right on the downbeat, but still got kind of the same picking rhythm. So after we go, uh, what is it? So I'm gonna kind of do the same kind of like inside outside thing. Same thing I did over the G chord, you know, but now I'm just gonna be the second fret of the D string with the open A. So I'm gonna be slap. Yeah, so just get that fragment. Slap, up, down, up, again. Slap, up, down, up, one more time. Slap, up, ah, excuse me, slap, up, down, up. Okay, yeah, you'll figure it out. Make sure you get those three little strokes in there. Then, after that, I'm gonna hit the D string open. I'm gonna go D, A. So I'm gonna kind of surround the D there. I'm gonna play the open D down, down, up, and then slap again. Down, down, up, slap. Down, down, up, slap. Down, down, up, slap. So, so let's see if we can kind of, if we put this through the walk down, it's already done. So the key is if we're going, we've done the slap, up, down, up, down. See if we can just put those kind of two things between the slum slaps. It's like slap up, yeah, excuse me. Slap up, down, up, down. Slap. Slap. One more time. I'll do it a few more times. Make it clear. Last time. And then we're gonna do the same thing, that same ending that is done for the regular song. We just, you know, after that thumb slap. Nah, nah, nah. So you notice there's a lot of kind of slaps uh, down, up, down, kind of on these inside, outside things. That kind of makes a lot of the chords breathe on this really nicely. So let's see if we can string the whole thing together. Um, I'll play it a couple times so you can kind of listen to it and then try to jump in after a few iterations. So here we go. One. And two, and
Ready to play along? Give it a shot. So my recommendation, if you can't get it all the way from that, check the tab out and take smaller parts of it, maybe not from the beginning to the end, but take whatever parts are troubling you and just put them together you know, in isolation until you've kind of woven the different parts together. Because eventually you want to get to... She never compromises. Loves babies and surprises. Wears high heels when she exercises. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah, so hopefully even I could get to playing that better. But I think the same issue that I think you run up with at whatever stage you're at is you go back to the shorter things. Even just taking that fragment. Okay, now I take the next fragment. That's all right. So this tricky thing after that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, if I clean up those individual fragments, let me try to take it back to speed now. Yeah, don't be shy about rewinding and taking little pieces, cleaning them up, and then bringing it back to the hole, because that back and forth is eventually going to clean the whole thing up. So, yeah. Basic idea, but I think that improves the sound of, you know, doing a, doing this with fewer instruments, it pulls more things together. So go out, play it, try it out, write your own versions. Let me know how they go. Yeah, don't be strangers. Bounce other ideas at me if you got them. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.